Hey everyone, how's it going? So for today's video, I want to show you guys how to draw a wild cat. And I have my own wild cat Shadow up here who is asking for some cat treats. But instead of drawing Shadow today, I want to show you guys how to draw a snow leopard. So I hope you guys follow along and enjoy this video today. Now to start off with our snow leopard, we're gonna begin with the eye. So I'm gonna start right about here. And I'm going to make a line that's going to go over and that's going to come down like this. Next we're going to add a little curved line in there. With a small pupil for a little dot for the pupil. Now starting here we're going to make a line that's going to go out and then I'm going to bring it in. And we want to come out, and then we're going to bring it back like this for the nose. You want to curl around and up for the mouth. And for the nose, I'm going to make a line that goes up, and that's going to come over. I'm going to curl a line up and around here for the eyebrow. Right here, we're gonna make a line that's gonna curl down. We're gonna put a few little zigzags on it and then we're gonna curl it back here. I'm gonna add some pointy lines on it. I'm gonna curve it up for the kind of like furry side of the face. Next, I'm gonna draw this line up here and when I get to about here, I'm going to add the ears. So I'm gonna make these ears go back a little bit. So I'm gonna draw a line that's gonna go up and then it's gonna curl around and come back. Add a zigzag line, we'll add another little curved line in there. Now starting here, we're going to draw a line that's gonna go up at an angle and then it's gonna come down slowly where the shoulder is gonna be. I'm going to bring this back and then I'm gonna angle it down here. Starting right here, we're gonna add the neck. So I'm gonna make a few zigzag lines because they're very furry. And I'm gonna bring this down to about here for the chest. We'll make a line that's going to come out and then it's going to go down. I'll make a line that's gonna curl around and then one more like this for the paw. Make a line that goes up, I'm gonna add few zigzag lines, I'm going to angle it in just because they're very furry. Then I'm going to add some zigzag lines for the stomach. Then starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to go down and it's going to come to about here. Make a line that's going to go over, it's going to curl down and around. One more right here. Then I'm going to go up and then I'm going to angle it over and it's gonna come up. Now starting here, we're going to draw a line that's gonna come out. It's going to curl around like this. And I'm gonna add one more here. It's gonna curve up. Then I'm gonna add some more of those zigzag lines on here. Starting here, we're gonna draw a line that's gonna go down like this. It's gonna curl around. One more for the paw, or for the toe. And then we're going to go up and over. Now, starting here, we're gonna draw this line down. And it's going to curl around here. They have a really long tail. And their tail's gonna be very, very furry. So I'm gonna make this tail pretty wide. We're going to bring it right to the edge of our paper. We're going to come down and I'm going to bring it all the way up to here. Now I want to come in here and add some of the different little details onto our snow leopard. I'm going to add a quick little line right here by the face and I'm going to add a little line that's going to curl around here for the cheek of our snow leopard. I'm going to add a little line going down and then a little line underneath here as well. 
you want to put some little dots going in some little lines for some details on the cheeks and then some quick little lines for some whiskers. Now our snow leopard is going to have lots of spots on there and to add our spots we're going to have to add lots of little dots on here. Now the spots of the snow leopard, especially when they're on the face, they're going to be smaller and they're just going to be kind of spread all around here. They're going to be right around the eyes and everything. They're going to not be on the nose. That's like the one spot where they're not going to be, but we're just going to kind of fill up some little dots on the face. Now, the dots, as they move back, they're going to slowly start to get a little bigger as they come back onto the body. So we're just going to make these dots a little bit bigger than what we had. And then once we get out to here, they're going to start taking on some shapes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start using some dots to kind of form some big spots like this. You can see I've got about three or four dots in each one that kind of form the spots of our snow leopard. And the dots kind of start to get a little bit longer too. So what you want to do is you just want to kind of go around and make a lot of these little dot spot shapes on here. Now the spots are going to be kind of like squared shape. They can be kind of rounded. It's totally up to you how you want to do this, but you're just going to kind of fill up the whole body with all these different spot shapes on here. Now, once you're done with the spots, like these big ones, I went in and I added some smaller ones in here just to kind of fill up some different areas on here. And once you're done with that, then there is your snow leopard. You can always come in here and add some of these quick little lines like I did and some different little spots just to make it look a little bit more shaggy, like there's some more fur and stuff on there, especially on spots like on the stomach, on the tail, different things like that. But there you go. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed.